Welcome back to another episode of the Next Level Minds podcast. My name is Chris Chapman, and I am your host. And if this is the first time that you are tuning in, then this is a podcast dedicated to those who want to reach a next level in their business, personal, or career life. Every other week, I am blessed to sit down with a qualified guest, entrepreneur, content creator, or mover and shaker in their industry, and really walk through their story of how they've gotten from point A to point B and overcame various adversities along the way. I also do a Motivation Monday episode every third Monday of the month where I talk through a variety of topics from a solo perspective about goal setting, habits, behaviors, finances, budgeting, anything and everything personal development related you can hear on those Motivational Monday episodes. We've done probably close to 100 of them. Um, So again, you can go back and listen to all the various topics that I've mentioned. Um, And that's actually what today's episode is going to be, a Motivation Monday episode. But before we dive into the Motivation Monday episode, I do want to reiterate my main goal with this podcast, and it's truly to impact over 1 million people by helping them reach a next level in their business, personal, or career life. You can help me out with that mission by sharing this episode with a family member, friend, or colleague, subscribing and following Next Level Minds on Apple Podcasts. We're also on YouTube now, and you can leave a review of the podcast either on YouTube and a comment. You can also leave a review of Next Level Minds on Apple Podcast and let me know what you think. I think we have uh, close to 100 reviews right now, um, which is pretty awesome. And a lot of them are from random people that I've never even personally met. Um, so that's even cooler just to see a lot of people leaving reviews of the podcast that I've never met, but that I've been able to impact in some way, shape or form. That said, on to today's episode, which as mentioned, is part of my Motivation Monday series And really today, what I'm going to be talking about is the lessons behind visiting the First Form headquarters. Now, for those of you who don't know um, what First Form is, they are a leading supplement and nutritional company that's been around since 2009 that has a deep, deep, deep mission to really transform their lives of their customers, as well as just transform their community and honestly transform this country to get it back to where it should be. Um, And it's led by one of my all-time favorite entrepreneurs, Andy Frisella, um, who I actually had the fortunate opportunity to meet while I was getting a tour of the First Form headquarters. And for being super, super, super successful in all areas of life, he it was one of the most humble individuals and just the coolest dudes that I've met. And I've been fortunate to meet a lot of successful people, CEOs, uh, mayors, city managers, um, you know, presidents of universities. Right. And uh, a lot of times when I meet somebody very successful, humility, unfortunately is something that's fallen by the wayside. And with Andy, uh, as mentioned, he was just an extremely humble, down to earth dude who you could tell was super passionate about his company, about transforming lives, about just really bettering this country, bettering people, things like that. So I wanted to take the time and really go into, you know, a bit more about who First Form is from, you know, outside perspective, right? I have no affiliation with this company other than the fact that I buy you know, protein bars, protein um, shakes, vitamins, you know, and apparel from them all the time. But I do have no like paid affiliation from them. So I just want to make that clear that this is just honestly me wanting to chat about how cool the experience was. Um, And really just talk about some learning lessons. Um, So first and foremost, I think the coolest thing about First Form is that uh, the founder, Andy, him and his business partner, um, decided to start a supplement store, um, you know, years and years ago. And really all they had was $12,000 and they got the money from painting strips on parking lots. And they basically went around Springfield, Missouri and tried to rent a retail shop. Nobody would rent to them because they were only 19 years old. They didn't have any credit. Um, I believe they found a guy who finally would rent to them. And he basically asked them to pay a full year's rent up front um, which was basically a thousand dollars a month. And so they essentially used all their money just to get a storefront. And then they went out and built shelving, built counters, financed all the inventory on credit cards, 
obviously took like a huge, huge, huge risk. Um, and they lived in the back of this first store. And as Andy mentions in many of his podcast episodes, literally slept on a piss stain mattress for years because they didn't have the money to, you know, pay for rent outside of the rent of the store and get the uh, inventory and all that stuff. Right. They were literally making so many sacrifices to even get the business from like, not just zero to one, but zero to like 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1 essentially. So I think it's a really cool story of those humble beginnings. Um, they didn't make really much money at all. I think they sold like $7 on their first day. Um, they didn't make much money at all for years. And then after sheer determination, grit, discipline, blood, sweat, and tears, six years later, they finally opened the second store, Supplement Superstores. And then it kind of just transpired from there. They had another store. They had another store. Um, and then in 2009, they decided to branch off and start their own supplement brand, which is First Form, which is the company that I mentioned at the very beginning of this podcast that I'll be talking about. So first and foremost, you all know at Next Level Minds, we love to hear those stories of how people got from point A to point B, overcame adversities, overcame failures, overcame setbacks the sacrifices that they had to make, right? So I think that is why I love this story so much and that I'm just so fascinated by all of the hoops and hurdles that Andy, the founder of this company and his business partner, Chris Klein, um, that started the supplement superstores and you know helped grow his brand and everything to where it is today. So fascinated by that just because I, I always love to hear those stories, which for those of you who've been listening to Next Level Mind since day one, you know that that's really the sole reason uh, why I started this show is because I, number one, love hearing those stories. And number two, I have a deep, deep passion for wanting to impact others. And the podcast is a great vehicle to do that. So diving into a little bit more about First Form, um, as mentioned, started in 2009. And I believe right now they're, if not a billion dollar company, very, very close to it. So again, think about first starting out at their first store when they had a supplement retail store literally had nothing, had to sleep in the back of the store to then opening a second store to then opening more stores to then starting a supplement brand in 2009. Like, I love this because it's like, wow, so much can happen if you just put your head down and get to work. And not only that, but they've made a massive impact, not only on their community, but pretty much the entire United States and globally. And they have thousands and thousands of employees who are just deeply passionate about impacting others as well. Um, and I think the last thing that I wanted to mention about this company is that their customer service, which we'll touch on in a little bit about some learning lessons, but their customer service is like absolutely top notch, whether it's a phone call, an email, an Instagram DM, like somebody gets back to you. And I believe having top notch customer service is an absolute must have in business right now. So diving into some lessons, like I said, we went on a little background about like who First Form is, who Andy is, a um, little bit about how they got started, a um, little bit about you know the impact that they've had on the community. Um, now I want to actually go into some learning lessons that I've kind of reflected on after being able to tour the First Form facility, which was an absolutely immaculate facility, literally one of the coolest things that I've seen freakishly clean as well, which I think that's amazing. I mean, they literally have a gym and basketball court on site. It's ridiculously clean. And that just goes to show high standards are super important. Um, and the craziest thing is that I was told that they don't even have a cleaning staff, that it's the people that actually work there that just clean the bathrooms, clean the basketball court, clean the gym. Right. But they all have such a high standard that it just is immaculate. So had the opportunity to see that and it was just an amazing experience. And and really this got me thinking about, okay, this was so cool to see first form, to meet Andy, to go to their summer smash event, which is their like once a year party that they have for customers, staff, ambassadors, athletes, things like that. Um, there's a lot of big time entrepreneurs there. So that was super cool. And I'm like, you know what? I have so many lessons I want to talk about. Let's extract some of these and let's talk about them on the show. So first lesson I want to dive into here is if somebody else did it, you can do it too. Now, I'm sure if you've been listening to Next Level Minds for a few years, you've heard me say that multiple times, and you may have even heard some guests say that as well, but this really helped me put a nail on that coffin and 
have an even stronger belief system in that if somebody else did it, you can too. Because again, Andy, who started First Form, came from very humble beginnings, grew up on a gravel road, literally like built his company to where it is today through sheer grit, determination, work ethic, discipline, right? All of these controllable factors that each and every one of you listening to this show have control over, whether you believe it or not. And it really just continued, like I said, to harp on that fact that like, you know what? If somebody like Andy from where he came from built this company to where it is today, what's holding you back from doing this, right? And and he's not the only one. I've had people on this podcast who have been in prison for like 10 plus years who came out of prison and then started multiple companies and are now worth millions of dollars, right? I have people who, you know, were homeless in seventh grade that were on this podcast that, you know, eventually figured their life out and and it implemented strong work ethic and discipline and all these things that we talk about and, and built multiple companies and sold them, right? So it's like, if somebody else did it, you can too. And I firmly believe in that so much so that I actually have that in an alarm on my phone that I believe goes off around like 6 p.m., just kind of a random reminder, like right before dinner of like, okay, if somebody else did it, you can too. So that's the first lesson. Second lesson I want to dive into is that first form is extremely big on their core values. So they have some core values like take initiative, build positive and fun relationships, always be learning, be selfless, be enthusiastic, believe, right? They have these strong core values. And I firmly believe to have any successful business or even a successful life, because I think you not only should have core values for your business, but you also should have some core values that you live by just as an individual human being. So I believe core values are an absolute must, right? First form has gotten where they are today. And many other companies have gotten to where they are today. And many people have gotten to where they are today because they've anchored themselves in some extremely strong core values, like taking initiative, always be learning, be enthusiastic, be selfless, right? Um, and and making sure that these core values are something that you act on, right? Of being somebody who has initiative, being somebody who's always learning in this case, being somebody who's enthusiastic, right? And having these core values drive the direction of your company and drive the direction of your life. Um, third thing I want to touch on here is culture is everything, right? I had the opportunity to meet multiple employees from all ranks. When I say all ranks, like some more entry-level employees, all the way to some executives of the company, all the way up to the founder and all the way up to the CEO, right? It's like culture is everything. Everyone I met was super nice. They're down to earth. They're passionate about helping others. And not only that, but the whole entire culture of the organization was essentially on the same page, right? Everyone has extremely high standards and they all seem to embody those standards. Like I said, The entire place was like pristine clean and they literally didn't even have a janitorial staff because of how pristine clean and how the high standards were so high that like they don't need one because they're like, you know what? We have high standards. We believe in our culture. We believe in our core values and we're going to have those high standards, right? And the more I do this podcast and the more that I meet successful people from all walks of life, the more that I continue to harp on the fact that like it's a common fact that people with high standards win in their life, right? And it's so important to realize that when you live a life of of having a high standard, that there's so much that can happen, right? People with strong, high standards, they win in life, right? So if you want to win in life, have high standards. So another thing that I wanted to mention is like, I was at this Summer Smash event, which again is like their customer party, staff party. Like it's just a massive party. I mean, like Ludacris was there. Uh, Vanilla Ice was there. Steve Aoki was there. Like we had some absolute awesome performers. Um, before all them, them went on, we had like a group workout in the morning. And then we had like, you know, just everyone kind of getting together as a community right before all this. So there's so much going on. There's thousands of people there. Um, and literally the entire time that I was there, I realized that like every single person that I ran into and every single person that I saw. Now, did I see all 3000 people? No, because that's just physically impossible. But every person I saw, which was probably close to like a thousand was physically fit, which was like crazy to me because usually you go in like a big crowd 
and maybe maybe like half the people in the crowd are fit because unfortunately obesity rates are like over 50 percent now right they say 40 but it look around it's definitely over 50 right and so thought what was super interesting is like all these people there were holding themselves to this extremely high standard and all these people there were like look at my life because i've held myself to this high standard right um I want to switch also to, I believe it's the one, two, three, what is it? High standard. Probably the fifth learning lesson is that it's very important in life to have a strong mission, right? Not only a strong mission for yourself, but a strong mission for your business if you do currently run a business, right? And I think First Form's done such a fantastic job at that because they do have a strong mission to transform lives. And Andy talks about in a lot of podcasts that I've listened to from uh, from his show that when he first started out, he was so focused on like just making money and getting that sale, which obviously you need to make uh, revenue in order to have a business, right? But he was so, so focused on just like making money and the importance of the customer kind of fell by the wayside from, from uh, you know, me paraphrasing it and then he mentions that when they started to have a mission of wanting to just impact and transform lives around them, everything started going in the right direction. And they essentially were able to grow their organization to where it is today. And so for those listening that, that have a business or want to just grow themselves, like have a strong why and a strong mission behind what you're doing and then embody that mission in all that you do. The next lesson that I want to share is that grit is a must, right? I mean, when they were getting this company started, they faced rejections, failures, setbacks, near-death experiences, you know, you name it, right? And they faced it, but they forged on, right? And every single successful person I'm, that I've met, not even just the folks at First Form or Andy or any of these other folks, I've realized one of the commonalities of traits is that they all have grit. Like they have the ability to just keep going one foot after another no matter what happens like they set their eyes on this end goal of like this is where i want to be and yes life's going to throw this at me and i'm going to get sick and you know maybe i have a family member who's not doing well and maybe you know this happens and this happens this happens all this stuff but they continue to forge forward no matter what so just know if you want to be successful that having grit is a must again multiple people that I've met, everyone that I've had on this podcast, if you had to boil down one theme of like, okay, what do these people have that you're interviewing that have built these uh, successful companies and successful lives? Well, they have the trait of being someone of grit, right? They have grit. They can just keep going no matter what. And I think the last lesson that I wanted to share here is that, you know, it's obviously no secret over the past few years that the country unfortunately has not been going in the right direction. I firmly believe that there's a big massive battle right now going on between good and evil. You know, you have crime at an all time high, you have cost of living at an all time high, foreign relationships are horrible. You know, we can go on and on and on about how bad it's been. And Andy in his opening speech before some of the um, artists came on to perform, he talked about how, you know, no one's going to come in and save you but you, you listen to this, me talking right now, nobody's going to come save you. Right. And Andy talks about, you know, what you do matters in life, how you live matters. Talked about the importance of being the best version of yourself. Not only that, but helping others be the best version of themselves. Right. It talks about how so many people are like, ah, I don't really think I can make an impact, but it's like, why would they be trying so hard to not have you make an impact if you couldn't be somebody that makes an impact and talks about how the world needs you to go out and win, the world needs you to be the best, right? The world needs you to inspire others. And that really fired me up as well, because being just an individual who maybe doesn't have like a million followers on Instagram and this, you know, multi-million dollar business and thousands of employees, like it can be hard to be like, well, how am I making an impact with this, you know, podcast? And how am I making an impact with just, you know, me, Chris Chapman as my life, but understanding like what you do matters, how you live matters, focus on being the best, focus on helping others be the best and understand that the world needs that and understand that you can go out and win and achieve big things and inspire others along the way. So 
that's it guys on the lessons. I just wanted to recap those. I know I rambled a little bit, but really that's solely because number one, I was super, super amped to be there. So I'm just kind of like overwhelmed. Like, wow, I was at this company that I've been following and that I've been investing into and purchasing products for, for, for so long. And this is awesome that I got to see it. And two, like I didn't really take any notes, right? I'm just kind of talking off the top of my head with one or two bullet points on a couple lessons. So um, just wanted to go over that. But again, we'll summarize all this. And it is, if somebody else did it, you can do it too. That's lesson number one. Lesson number two is realizing that core values are a must, right? And act on those core values. Don't just write those core values, but act on those core values. Number three is understanding that culture is everything, right? Embodying that culture in your everyday living. Number four, realizing that people with high standards, they win in life and understanding that every successful person has gotten to where they are in life because they have high standards. And it's important for you to set the standard, honor that standard, and then lift everybody up along the way. And then going into that next lesson is have a strong mission, right? Again, first form mission, transform lives, right? They embody that in all that they do. Next lesson is grit is a must. And the next lesson is that no one's going to come save you, but you, what you do matters, how you live matters. Very important to be the best, help others be the best. The world needs it. Go out and win. So that's what I wanted to share with you all today. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. I know it was a bit different than most Motivation Monday episodes, but again, I wanted to make sure to get these learning lessons out there. I've been hit up like five or six times in the last couple of days about, you know, what were your lessons of being at headquarters? And you got to meet Andy. That's awesome. I've always wanted to meet him. What did you learn? Right. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put my learning lessons pen to paper, start talking about it make sure that everyone listening could be impacted by some of these learning lessons because that's what we do here at Next Level Minds. Our mission is to impact over 1 million people by helping them reach a next level in their business, personal, or career life. Again, thank you all for listening. Thank you all for being supporters of the show. Thank you for sharing the show. Keep doing it. It means the world. And other than that, I hope everyone has a fantastic week ahead.